There are several ways to make your home network faster. One common way is to use a forwarding DNS server on your network. This forwarding server caches DNS requests so that in the future the requests can be handled in the local network being a lot faster. I will be using a standard Raspberry Pi Model B variant. You can use an older or a newer model, it does not matter in this case, since running a DNS server requires such a low amount of power. I will be using an Ethernet cable to connect to my network. You can use Wi-Fi, but I strongly recommend using a cable for optimal speed. Let's go install the software. Alright, I now have set up a basic Raspbian installation here and have connected to the Raspberry Pi using SSH. Installing the DNS server is really simple. You just run sudo apt install DNS mask. DNS mask is the software for the DNS server. After that is installed, we have to modify the default configuration a little bit. So that config file is in etc slash dnsmask.conf. The settings that you have to change are First, you have to change log queries to enable it. So remove the comment at the front of it. And then we have to change the location on where the log files are generated. So you have to add this command here. Okay, so after we are done configuring the server, then we can start it. So, just run sudo systemctl start dns mask. And that's pretty much it. You can check the status of the server using systemctl status dns mask. And if you want that the server is enabled on boot, you can run systemctl enable dns mask. Really simple stuff. Okay, so now we have the dns server running but no device on our network is using it yet. So let's first check what's the IP of this device. That can be done using the command IP space ADDR. There's a lot of information here, but check out the IP address and remember to write it down since we will be using it shortly. I would personally recommend on changing the DNS server on the router of your home network. That way all the devices in your network will have the same DNS, so you don't have to configure it for every single device in your network. But also you can change it on per device. And then some extra stuff. There's a script on GitHub where you can check the statistics of the DNS server. That is quite cool. So you can pretty much just wget this raw file, the script file. And yeah, the link to this uh, GitHub will be in the description too. After you have downloaded it, you have to change so that the execution permission is set for this file. And then just run the command with sudo. We need sudo because, we will, uh, because the script will have to read the log file that we specified earlier so that this uh, default user does not have access to that file. But yeah, that's it. And then we can all see all this kind of statistics for, for our network. Uh, this data right here is just me being using the home network for around 15 or 20 minutes, just regular computer use. So we can see, see here that uh, it will cache quite a lot of these requests. One cool way to check the statistics of the DNS mask is also to use the dig command. These commands that you see on the screen here, with these you can check how many cache hits and misses there are and what's the cache size. So pretty cool on using the actual DNS utilities for checking the statistics of your server. That is all for now. Thank you for watching and on to the next one.